Yes, villagers, there is nobody that I know who has never tried to lose weight. And for some of us, that can be easier said than done. There may be some psychological things that might be blocking your ability to lose weight. So we're going to look at four of them at this point in time. If you want to find out what those are, you are in the right place. If you're new to this channel, welcome to our village. If you're a returning villager, welcome as well. So let's get into it. Welcome to Garden of the Mind, where we reduce stress, improve our health and fitness, and improve our financial IQ every episode. Food is absolutely necessary in order for us to live. We need nutrition from food. However, some of us are getting a little bit more than just nutrition from food, and those very things may be blocking our efforts when it comes to circling back and trying to lose weight. Association number one, control. We all need a certain degree of control in our lives, and if we don't have that control, it usually leads to anxiety. So we find that some people are using their food as a means of control. With some people who have eating disorders, usually those stem from having very, very controlling and authoritarian parents who want to tell their children what to do, how to do it, and then criticize them afterwards. So that child believes that the only control that they have in their lives is with their food in terms of the portion size that they eat, and they seek to use it to feel secure in their lives. Association number two, comfort. Some of us eat for comfort. So we might psychologically eat with the intention of using our weight to insulate ourselves from the rest of the world. That weight can serve as a great comfort for us and a buffer from the outside world. Now there are some situations that I've seen where some sexual abuse survivors have blamed themselves and felt that the reason why they were abused was because somehow or another they were attractive. So they eat psychologically so that they can make themselves to be unattractive by gaining weight. Association number three, love. For some families that may not be able to provide for all of the needs of their children may hope to do so through the provision of food. If you look at some of our expressions, when someone creates a very, very good meal, we say that they put their love into it. So for some of us, we are looking to transfer that love to our children or whoever it is that we are cooking for. And that same dynamic is present if you choose not to eat a certain portion of the food that the person provided. So if they make a, a dish for you and you only take a little bit of it, sometimes people can feel insulted that you won't eat it because you don't like it, thereby rejecting their love. Or in other cases where you have a parent who wants their children to eat because they know that that is the one provision that they can certainly have and that they can certainly enjoy. So they encourage their children to eat and enjoy themselves as if eating as much as you want is a way of enjoying yourself. So that could be one of the very, very early lessons that we learn that eating as much as you want is a opportunity for you to enjoy yourself. And it makes you think about the love that you received when you were younger and your parents either encouraged those things or you thought that that was the way that things should happen. Association number four, food is a drug and can be used for us to make ourselves feel better in the short term. If you think about it, when people are breaking up, they always show a picture of a person sitting at the couch watching television with some ice cream. Certain things like that can be very comforting to us. We use food for so many different things and using it as an immediate way to make us feel better about our situation is something that a lot of people do. So we can eat our feelings and not necessarily have to deal with them. There are so many different associations with food and we have to look at ourselves to see exactly what our individual relationship is 
with food? Are we using it for nutrition? Are we using it for comfort? Are we using it for pleasure? All of these things have to be explored. There are even times where a parent might have given a child a food as a reward, and in your mind, you think about food as a reward. What's your relationship with food like? Please put that in the comments so that the village can see and we can bond ourselves that much closer over this issue. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you want to know when I post, which is Wednesdays, my apologies for last Wednesday, please click on that notification and you will get a ding on your phone and you know that a new video is ready for you. And remember, thoughts are actions, words have power, and actions have consequences. I'll see you next Wednesday. I'll see you soon.